Hi everyone, and welcome to Electrical Field. Today, I'm going to be talking about substation capacitor banks. What are they, and what do they do? What is a substation capacitor bank? A substation capacitor bank is a group of capacitors that are connected together in a series or parallel configuration. Capacitors are electrical components that store electrical energy. When a capacitor bank is connected to an electrical system, it provides reactive power to the system. What is reactive power? Reactive power is the power that is used to create magnetic fields in electrical motors and transformers. It is not used to do any useful work, but it does cause losses in the electrical system. What is the purpose of a substation capacitor bank? The purpose of a substation capacitor bank is to improve the power factor of an electrical system. Power factor is a measure of how efficiently an electrical system is using its power. A high power factor means that the system is using its power efficiently, while a low power factor means that the system is wasting power. How does a substation capacitor bank improve power factor? A substation capacitor bank provides reactive power to the system, which helps to offset the reactive power that is being used by inductive loads. This reduces the overall amount of reactive power in the system, which improves the power factor. There are several benefits to using a substation capacitor bank. These include 1. Improved power factor, which can save energy and money. 2. Reduced voltage fluctuations, which can protect electrical equipment from damage. 3. Increased capacity of the electrical system, which can allow for more load to be connected. Conclusion Substation capacitor banks are an important part of electrical systems. They help to improve power factor, reduce voltage fluctuations, and increase the capacity of the system. If you are interested in learning more about substation capacitor banks, I encourage you to do some research online or talk to an electrical engineer. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video informative. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one.